Welcome to What's in the Next Box. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've watched my videos before, welcome back. I want to show you guys something that is kind of depressing. Look at this. All of those totes are for stock and they are all empty. As are, well, this tote has some stuff in it. <laughs> but all these totes are for stock and they are empty. You can see behind me here our main warehouse storage area and it is pretty much empty. And our 24 foot box truck is empty. And so the goal of the day is to turn this little tiny wad of cash into that. All right. Mission accomplished. I just bought four, uh, well, three, three storage lockers that we're going to go pick up today. Um, I will show you, oh boy, it's bright out here, uh, what those are like when we go get them. First, I gotta see if our truck will start. Got this old U-Haul box truck and sometimes it give us a little bit of trouble. So we'll see if this starts and then we'll go from there. Let's see. Nothing at all. Gotta jump it. <laughs> all right, we'll see if that did it. Here we go. That's a better sign. There we are. Running. All right. We'll uh, head out. We'll pick these things up. All right. Here's the first one. Lots of boxes. Looks like a little bit of furniture. See what else we find as we go through it. First couple of little good items that we found is we're just loading this thing out. Some sound equipment. Pretty good start. All right, here's the next one. A little 10 by 10, a couple mattresses in here. Dresser, some boxes, big old mirror. It's kind of dark. It's an inside unit and it's kind of no lights in the hallway right by it so it's kind of dark in here but I'll show you guys if we find anything great last one for the day is a 5x10 pretty full oh, look at that there's a jewelry box no that's got crayons in it that's not a very promising sign Alright, well, let's see what else we find. Alright, we'll start going through some boxes here from this load. Right. Kitchen scale. jar but the glass top's broken it's too bad that's oh man something little stickies on there plates uh, give that a try all right see you to the next one all right got some cones Flag football set. That's pretty cool. Four yellow and four red. Got 
right here. Baseball base set. Super cheap. Not sure we'll have no trouble selling it. Some more cones, disc cones. So all these plastic bags. And this looks like a whole bunch of used Easter eggs. All right. It's in the next one. Here's another one. Another flag football set. It's all in there. Art kit. Now, really? Got a whole bunch more of these Easter eggs. Well, not a whole lot there. It's the next one. Got here. Yeah, miscellaneous screws. Bits and pieces of hardware. Oil, best by April 30th of 2018. Popcorn bags. This is uh, this is food items. It looks like you know supplies for someone's popcorn machine, and a mouse has gotten in here. Nobody wants to buy popcorn supplies that have mouse turds on them. Throwing that away. Another box. <sighs> Empty, but I will put it over with our sound equipment stuff. You never know. VHS, light bulbs, easy sell. Enemy inside your mind. Ha, ah, nothing there. Alright, let's get paperwork in here. And I'll just go through this. Yep, another box. This is a color strip mini. Light. Let's see if it's actually in there. Oh, it's not. Bummer. Well, I'm going to put this over in that box of sound equipment stuff because I might find it some of the other boxes in here hope I do it's like kind of a cool thing All right. well, this is interesting had an envelope save that for shipping stuff First, I thought these were all padded envelopes, and I would save them for shipping, but they're not. There's a whole bunch of change in the bottom here, though. Hopefully a significant amount. No, those, save those envelopes. I wonder if more paperwork. Look at this. Petty cash. This is it. I want me some petty cash. Uh, I'm not seeing anything in here at all. 
Man, that's disappointing. The petty cash envelope with no petty cash in it. I don't care if it's petty. I'll take your petty cash. I'm not picky. Bunch of mail in here. Nope. Giant fan. Hey. The padded envelope. I'll take it. Much more paperwork. Padded envelope. More paperwork. A lot of paperwork here. I have gone through these other envelopes because that petty cash envelope made me hopeful that I might find some cash in this paperwork, but I did not. Mm -hmm. There's something in here. I don't expect it to be anything exciting, but you never know until you look. It was never actually sent through the mail. All right, well, there you have it. But there's some money here. Again, not bad. Two quarters, handful of pennies. Alrighty. Go through another one of these boxes. Sound equipment. DF. That's the technical technical terminology. I hope I'm not losing you guys here. Alright. I'm going to put the name on this. Hmm. HP. Actually, that's for a printer that we've got somewhere around. Alright, I'm going to set this box aside. Any more cords and stuff I find for sound equipment, I'll put in there. Oh, we got napkins here. Brand new pack and net. Oh, no, it's open. Ah, that's too bad. Actually, I might still save this thing. Not to sell, but for our personal use here at the store. What else? Hot Wheels car. It's an old lady wig. Looks like this is like clothing that was used, and maybe a play or something at a church. February 5th of 2018. It's interesting, you wonder why they have these cans of soda in there. Props for something, maybe? October of 2017. Oh, sounds like money. 
And it is. Is it real? I say that because it looks like a prop box. Yes, indeed. All right. There's one dollar. Like a buck fifty there. Pretty good. All right. Well. Not a great box. Not terrible. Here's the next box. None of these boxes were sealed up. Someone packed in a hurry or what? I don't know. A pack of brushes. Craft supplies sell really well in our store. What's this? Tulip Color Shot. Instant Fabric Color. This is black. That's interesting. What we got here? A giant glow stick ring has been opened. This is several that have not been opened. Movie theater butter for popping and topping. Oh my goodness, July 2017. <sighs> oh, nice. String for crafts. Painting makeup kit. Ah, it's all dirty down in there. It's too bad. I would have saved those. Get another box and see what else we find. Well, here's another box. This one's got some sound equipment, looks like, in it. Microphone. Don't know. It's pretty cheap. Whatever kind of mic it is. We will look into that. What do we got here? Lapel mic. Put that over with our sound equipment. All right. All right. Might be able to, okay. Cords are all tangled up here. Let's see. There we are. Digital reference, so not high dollar, but. I'll well, take it. Power cord. Internet modem. All right, what do we got here? Now, digital reference mic. And Samson. Cool. Xbox 360 down in there. Yeah. It's not busted up or anything. Just drop it in this milk crate for now. There we are. Let's see. Xbox. Remote. Looks like a PlayStation remote. Yeah, PlayStation 3. And another Xbox remote. Another 
another Xbox remote. Xbox power cord. There's a power cord for another printer. Nods and ends. All right, pretty good box. All right, here's a little box of good smalls we pulled out of that load. We'll see what's in there. All right, so I'll walk you through what I found here. There's a bunch of earrings there um, that I will be going through more carefully later on. A handful of cell phones here, mostly older phones. Don't expect there to be a whole lot of value there. Uh, some watches, another cell phone, nice Amazon tablet there. A little scale, some rubber cement, a remote. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is for a TV that we found, um, but I'll show you guys that. Hopefully that's the remote for it. Uh, a Google Home Mini, uh, some costume jewelry, good bit of costume jewelry here. A bunch of rings that are not marked. Oh, of, co uh, of course I'll go through and test those. Um, the not marked rings down here are rings that are marked. All of these rings claim to be silver. And again, I'll test those and make sure that they actually are what they claim to be before I try to sell them. Uh, these two pieces right here, that's gold-plated, as well as that, or at least it claims to be. A little flashlight, some batteries. This is a nice buck knife. Probably put that on eBay. Some other odds and ends. those earrings I went through them and this is the only one I found that was anything and it is sterling silver and I only found one of them I didn't find the set so here's what it is all right I did just find a couple little pieces of gold see them there earrings so the earrings they're marked as 14 karat gold we'll weigh them and see what they got here let's see Oh boy, one doesn't even register on the scale. Two? Oh, what do we got there? Uh, 0 0.06 of a gram. I didn't weigh the backs because the backs are not marked. Oh, no. 0 0.05 of a gram. So, not a whole lot of weight there, but I'll sell in our store fine. Here are some electronics we found in those lockers. A couple of laptops here, an Acer running Windows 7 and this Dell I haven't really looked at it yeah Windows Vista so pretty old computers cool picks <laughs> like on cool picks old camera and then this is a GE camera I don't even know General Electric made cameras but apparently they did um, also pretty old camera so get some of these electronics tested see if either of these laptops work. Got to see if I can find cords for them. 
in my pile of cords over there. I actually found cords for both of those computers. They both work and neither of them were passcode protected. So like, that was like a lot easier than I was expecting that to be. Of course, neither of them were in very good shape. They both have issues. So, probably just sell them on eBay as is. Uh, the next thing I need to test is that TV that we got out of this load. And I'm hoping I've got a remote for it. But I guess first we'll plug it in and see if it even works. Well, it works. I was unable to find a remote for it. So, sell it without a remote. Show you guys some of the furniture that came out of these lockers. These chairs. Uh, that's like a, a sound cabinet for a, an organ. This is... This table and three chairs came out of that locker. It's in bad sh shape. One of those lockers it came out of. Um, and up in here. Those two little pieces over there came out of uh, these lockers. This table came out of those lockers. These chairs over here. That chair, this little table here, this glass top table over there. And then this chair came out of there. This chair is probably the nicest uh, piece of furniture out of these lockers. But, so, nothing really valuable, but some okay pieces. That's gonna do it for this load. We didn't strike it rich, but we did uh, find some decent items, a lot of store stock. Um, we spent, I think, right around $800, somewhere in that range. And there's probably, um, I'd guess, $2,500 worth of stuff here. It's all said and done, maybe a little bit more. So that's pretty good, and we'll see what we find next time. Thanks for watching.